Fujifilm X Plus with 80mm f2 and 27mm f2.8. The smallest documentary everyday carry camera kit. I want to talk about this small combo in this video now. Hello there, my name is Tudor Matesco and welcome to my channel. I have Fujifilm X4C and Fujifilm 80mm f2 lens that the YouTubers told me it's not so good. But I've reviewed it, I've used it and I've discovered that it's an extraordinary and very good lens. As I've talked in this video, please check link in the card. And I also have the Fujifilm 27mm f2.8 Mark II. I'm using this kit for over a year plus and so on. So I feel I can give you some advices regarding this kit and what you can do with it. I've named this kit the smallest compact documentary everyday carry kit. And why is that? Because we have two small prime lenses. Two small extraordinary good prime lenses for documentary photography. So for this kit I've chosen Fujifilm 80mm f2 lens and Fujifilm 27mm Mark II f2.8 lens. These lenses on Fujifilm X Pro C are staying extraordinary good. They are making the camera feel extraordinary in the hand. You really need to feel it and experience Fujifilm X Pro C or Fujifilm X Pro 2 with these lenses. So let's talk now about the first lens, the Fujifilm 80mm f2 lens. As I've said, this lens it is staying extraordinary on your Fujifilm X Pro C. And with the Fujifilm X Pro C AF, basically you will have an extraordinary point and shoot camera. If you are looking through the optical viewfinder, you will see small green arrows that are indicating the margins of your optical viewfinder. So what you see is what you get in that optical viewfinder. You don't have to worry about the frame lines. You are looking and taking the shot and so on. Also this lens it's working extraordinary with this tilting screen and it will help you get extraordinary good good shots. The AF of this lens even if it's not so good on older bodies on Fujifilm X Pro 3 it's working great great great. You will not have problems regarding the AF. You will nail the shots at f2 and so on with no problems at all. And by the way the aperture ring of this 18mm f2 even if I know online it's reported that this aperture ring it is very very loosely. I must tell you that on my copy it's working very very well. But I've got this lens brand brand new how I've said in my video review regarding this lens. So maybe this had an important factor and maybe in time the ring will loosen up. I really don't know but it's working well on this lens. So the clicks are satisfying and how I've said the ring it's not flimsy at all. You will not bump it if you buy this lens new but who knows. I really can't say my copy it's working great at this time. Who knows. So first AF very good rendition of the colors and of the image with this lens on this sensor. So extraordinary good quality package. What you can do with this lens? So this lens is extraordinary for documentary photography in crowd spaces. Also it's extraordinary for close up portraits and for family photography and for places where you don't have enough space. Also it's extraordinarily good because it's having the f2 aperture. So in low light conditions you will be able to use this lens. So you can use this lens by night even if personally I don't like to use a wide lens by night. But you can use it and as you can see you can obtain good results with this lens. Also. This lens comes with this square hood that I really really like from Fujifilm and it's very compact. So extraordinary package for an everyday documentary machine. I really really like it. But but I feel that oftentimes the 28mm equivalent field of view it's a little too wide when the streets are not crowded. So this is why I decided to include in this kit the 27mm f2.8 Mark II from Fujifilm. 
Why I've chose the 27 meters f2.8 Mark II lens? Because again, it's a pancake lens. And this pancake lens on this X Pro 3, it's something incredible, incredible, incredible. It's making this Pro C very compact, very compact, easy to carry, easy to carry, easy to shoot with. Also, the frame lines when we are using the 27mm Mark II f2.8 lens are extraordinary good looking in the optical viewfinder. You have enough coverage of the frame lines and also you see enough outside of the frame lines. So the experience of this lens with x c it is amazing, amazing good. The aperturing of this pancake lens, it is extraordinary good. It also have a locking mechanism. It is weather sealed. So you have here a dust and weather sealed package. So you can use this package on a rainy day or on a dusty day with no problems at all. Also this 40 mm lens will help you get good compositions. I like a lot compositions that are made with a 40 mm lens. Check why link in the card here. I feel a 40 mm field of view, it is better than a 35 mm field of view if you want a more tighter composition, a more well balanced composition. And also the angle of view, it's not so tight as a 50 mm angle of view. And this is important. Also you can put your x -Pro c in sports finder mode and you can obtain from both of these lenses, from this lens a 50 mm equivalent field of view without losing the rangefinder capabilities of your camera because you'll see in the electronic viewfinder outside of your frame lines. And from this 18mm f2 you'll obtain a 36-35mm equivalent field of view when you are putting your Fujifilm x -Pro c in sports finder mode. Check more about this setting in this video here. So now let's talk about the advantages of this kit. As you can see, you can obtain from this lens a 50 mm equivalent lens f2.8 lens. This is huge for street photography. So when you need a tighter field of view, you can put this lens in the 50 mm mode. And for street photography where you want more depths of field, this is huge. So practically you have here a small 50 mm pancake lens. Also you can use this lens as I've said in the 30 mm field of view using the sports finder mode. So basically you have four fields of view with four lenses. Also it is weather sealed, dust sealed with this lens. And I think the most important part is the fact that you'll cover a lot of focal lenses with extraordinary good primes at f2 with this with good image quality. So it is huge regarding documentary photography. So for documentary photography, for family photography, I really, really like this combo, but there are some disadvantages regarding this combo. So let me tell you about the disadvantages. Some users aren't liking so much the AF of the 18mm F2 because it's squeaking and making some sounds. For me, it's not bothering me because X100V, it's also making sounds. And also the 35 meters F1.4, it's also making sounds. But uh, the squeaking, it's not a problem for street photography. But yes, if you want to be very, very discreet in a place where uh, there is no noise, yes, the squeaking of this uh, lens will bother you. But on the streets, for documentary photography, there aren't problems for me. Another disadvantage is the minimum focus distance of this pancake lens. I really would have wanted a better, better minimum to focus distance. When I want to shoot a portrait up close, I feel that this minimum to focus distance, it is bothering me. So a little disadvantage here. Also the f2.8 aperture, it's a problem, it's a problem. In low light, you want at least an f2 aperture. So this is why I've included this lens. In conclusion, I feel this is an extraordinary kit for everyday carry for documentary photography. For photography where you want to document the streets, where you want to document your road from work to home and so on. Because it is very, very light, it is very, very compact and these focal lenses will help you get 
every documentary shot that you see. So it is huge. If the place it's a little crowded, you can use this 18mm f2. But if you want to do a more tighter composition or the streets aren't so crowded, then you can use this 27mm f2.8 from Fuji Film. So extraordinary kit and very very light and easy easy to carry and with great image quality with great modernness i really like this hood this square hood it's extraordinary extraordinary everyday carry kit that can really help you get amazing street photography amazing street photography so this is this is it uh, in my opinion a good good kit i feel it is better than a classical 28 millimeters on full frame and the 50 millimeters on full frame i feel this 40 millimeters will help you more because how i've said if you really need that 50 millimeters field of view you can put this camera by pushing a button in sports finder mode and you are there so extraordinary everyday carry kit from my experience so before ending please be sure to check my everyday carry kit regarding abstract and documentary photography with Fujifilm X-Pro3 link in the card and subscribe now 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 to my channel because I'll post more everyday carry kits with Fujifilm cameras and with other cameras thank you for watching my video and talk to you soon bye bye